What's good, everybody? Nick Makes Plays here. Today, I'm going to go over my Caitlyn Tima Puffcap deck. We're getting a huge Legend Terra patch today, or I guess technically tomorrow. Uh, 33 changes, the second biggest patch, I think, in history. And one of the big changes of the patch is we are getting changes to Flash Bomb cards. All cards that put Flash Bombs in your opponent's deck, such as Caitlyn or Sting Officer, used to put Flash Bombs in the top 10 cards of the deck. Now put the top eight cards of the deck, which is a huge, huge change and has perfect synergy with puff caps. I also think puff caps are the most fun decks in the game, so let's get into it. All right, so to kick off this new patch, we are going to do a flash bomb puff cap uh, trap strategy. And here's my current list. It's really good, and I've been loving it. But anyway, so I'm making this video before the changes actually are implemented, but I just want to give you guys the deck and show you how it functions. So when the patch hits. You're ready to go with uh, the new Flash Bomb buffs, so I think they're amazing. So, three Otter Puss from Summon Creator Prank in Hand. Basically, just a, it has a tune. So, it's basically just a 1 1 blocker that gives you your mana back, which is really nice to have extra mana for your spells. And then you can save the prank, putting a Puff Cap Peddler to use to put three Puff Caps in their deck. So, pretty straightforward. Three Poison Dart, just uh, really good against Battle City. Uh, very popular this meta because a lot of units like Loping Telescope have one health and stuff like that. So, pretty good. We have Teemo. Teemo, uh, pretty straightforward in the Puff Cap deck, one of the champions. So when he strikes, he puts five poison Puff Caps into their deck. And he also is elusive, so he chips in damage, which adds up really fast in this deck. Then you put 15 Puff Caps in the deck. Um, when he strikes, he becomes a 2 2. When he becomes a 2 2, when he strikes, he doubles the enemy Puff Caps in their deck. He's able to make it have an insane amount of Puff Caps in their deck. Tons and tons of traps. You drop Karina Mastermind, they just like draw 20 Puff Caps and you win the game. We got Conchologist, Generate Rem Spells, just become 2-1. Uh, still really good in this deck though. So just like Generic can give you a lot of the Puff Cap traps or even like Advanced Intel for Flash Bombs. So very good. Mystic Shot can go for Burn Reach or it can just be Removal. Poke Stick can remove their units or it can be Burn Reach to help you refill draw a card. I like Puff Cap Pup and Sting Officer as your 2 drops. They're both very good on offense. So turn 2, if you run both, you'll reliably have some offense. So Puff Cap Pup. Easily can chip in for two damage with quick attack and put poison puff caps in their deck. Even on block, like you can attack with them, put two puff or sorry, put three puff caps in their deck, and then when they attack, you just block with them. It's six puff caps in their deck, and it took two damage from his uh, first attack. So Sting Officer is going to get buffed. It is now going to put two flash bomb traps on top eight cards in their deck. Also has elusive, so very easy to just like get in there with an extra strike, deal two damage, which adds up again in this deck very quickly, and then put. Flash bombs out their deck. It also helps you get crowd control. Like one of the reasons this buff's so important is puff cap decks aren't the best at board control. But if you're just putting cards in the top eight of their deck instead of top ten, you can attack while applying like the aggressive pressure and doing damage, and then the flash bombs will clear their boards. You can just keep doing it over and over again, and it makes it harder for them to uh, break your like your setups with your puff caps and your flash bombs. Caitlyn's also going to be changed to put flash bombs in the top eight of the enemy deck. So she has quick attack, right? So like Sting Officer has elusive, so he can easily get in there and put the flash bombs in the deck. She has quick attack. She can also just attack on turn three. Very hard to block. And you're guaranteed to get those two flash bombs in the top eight cards of the deck. They'll pop off, start getting rid of the enemy field, allowing you to keep your board uh, wider. So you don't have to like block down their units because the flash bombs will take care of them and continue to put on the pressure. So very good. And when she levels up, of course, uh, when she strikes, she deals damage to the enemy for every trap that they draw in this game, which is more likely now that the flash bombs are top eight cards in the deck. So get excited. Uh, usually you just use for burn reach to, to finish off an enemy, but also can be double as a removal. Insider knowledge, all players draw two. You want to use this after you've maxed out all the flash bombs, all the puff caps you can in their deck. So make sure they draw the puff caps and you can kill them. But also with the flash bombs being more so on the top of the deck than they were before, more likely that they'll draw flash bombs to try and remove enemy units. So very, very good. Also nice refuel if you need to use it that way. So a puff cap peddler, best card in the entire deck. When you cast a spell, play three puff and puff caps on random cards on your deck. So you just Play this and you spam all your spells and then they have like a million puff caps in deck and it's super easy to kill them with Karina, Insider Knowledge, Caitlyn, stuff like that. Uh, Chump Wump, recently buffed actually, used to be a 4-3, now a 4-4, so a bit chonkier I guess for lack of better words. So when you summon you get two mu Mushroom Clouds, you want to combo these with Puff Cap Peddlers, so then every time you use one you put six Puff Caps in the deck instead of just a three. And then last but not least, probably the other best card in the deck, Karina Mastermind. So play, she plants five Flash Bomb Traps. Uh, randomly or activate the effects of all traps in the top five cards of the enemy deck. So again, with the flash bombs being more so the top, you're able to easily just say, okay, I'll activate all traps top of your opponent's deck. 
So she becomes not only before she was just like used as like a puff cap finisher, where they just draw a puff cap and you kill them. Now she can reliably say, okay, I have a bunch of flash bombs. I know they're in the top eight instead of top ten, and then she can use as a board clear. So if they have like a bunch of units, you have a ton of flash bombs now, you can just board clear them. So very very good. Let's get into some games. Before we start though, if you guys are big fans of Teemo, Caitlyn, puff caps, Legend of Terror, anything like that, make sure you like and subscribe. Tons of videos this week. And I'm excited for one of the biggest patches in Retailer history. So here we go. All right, so yeah, we're up against we're up against Nar Cannon Poppy. This should be Banal Tree. This should be Banal Tree. All right, actually a friend of mine. So let's see how this game goes. We have Puff Cap Pup, and we're going second. Definitely really good offensively. I love the addition of Sting Offs in the deck to reliably get a two drop. So here we have Puff Cap Pup. Um, we want to be having this strong two drop to attack on turn two, starting Puff Cap to the deck. We want to mulligan for Puff Cap Peddler. That's probably the best card in our whole deck is Puff Cap Peddler. Uh, just putting tons and tons and tons of Puff Caps into his deck. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mulligan for that. Didn't hit it, we still kind of, we didn't draw Teemo. So next turn we have not just Puff Cap Pup, but also Teemo putting the Puff Cap in the deck. Really liking how this is going so far. Um, I think Puff's good because Sting Officer is elusive, so he can put chip damage in later past turn two, whereas a 2 2 Salad Quick Attack is amazing on turn two. Not too much can block that as you can see, but it falls off later. So let's see if he has Group Shot. Group Shot would be good in Teemo. I don't know if he has it. I, I guess we'll find out. Okay. So pretty good. We already have tons of Puff Caps in this deck. And he has blockers, but hey, we got elusive. We got Quick Attack. Not really a big deal. I don't, I don't think I mind these, uh, these elusive units. Or, sorry, I don't think I mind these, uh, these blockers against us right now if we have the elusive unit. Hmm. So we can, like, pokey stick that. I kind of just want to keep putting on the pressure on the board. Like, I don't mind just playing Gatlin here. Because if he attacks, we can just block with Gatlin. And whittle away his enemy blockers. Okay, that's fine. So he already has that. So Noctis, Shadow Isles. Targon Battle Seed. I was, I was a bit afraid of that, I won't lie. But if he didn't have that, we could block with it, like on this, and then the Flash Bombs could clean these up. I think we won't really get outraced here. Poppy's a bit scary, but we should be fine overall. I guess that's fine. Alright, I'll try to put some, some Flash Bombs in deck. Easily can clear these up if we hit them. Also, just more elusives for the damage here. I think this is pretty good. I don't think I have a great blocker for Puff Cat Pup. Like, if he plays Poppy, I think it's a 2 3 right now, right? So, if he blocks uh, Poppy on this, then we can just Pokey Stick and then the Quick Attack will finish her off. Another Buster Shot. So this time on Team now. So, he does a 2 minute card, kills a 1 minute card. I'm, I'm down for that. Hopefully, he just takes this. He'll probably block with the 1 1 to save. He has some health. That, that's gonna matter later. The puff caps really add up. And also now, um, it feels not acceptable with flash bombs. I guess it is again, but we easily hit one of these instead. So I think we need more blockers here. Let's play Conchologist. Quicken or Time Winder. I kind of like Time Winder here. It also combo well with the the chump one. Now the biggest fear we have here is Poppy. Pop Poppy would be pretty brutal. Let's so see what happens. Flash bomb. No flash bomb. <laughs> I got excited. Hopefully no poppy. That's that's definitely gonna make things get a bit out of hand fast. Open attacking. Okay. Well, we need to block it down somewhat. I think we should just keep these. Like I'm down to race him. It's really not a big deal. We have more burn reach than him. Hmm. Do I just pokey stick? No. We can take it. I think his main win con is going to be Ben Lundry, rather than working it down. Because if it's working it down with the main win con, then I feel Poppy would have been the next by now. If, if he played Poppy, I'd be very afraid of him working it down. But without that, I think we can race him. Nothing too crazy. He plays Battle City Mayor. The reason I play Pup here over Chumpwom is this is like the last turn I feel like his 2 2 style and quick attack will be relevant. After this, I'm sure he'll have enough mana to play cards with bigger defensive values. Alright, he'll probably play some discounted. That's fine. Nothing discounted. We drew our Karina. We just gotta get more Puff Caps in the deck now. Flash, Flash Bomb. So we'll attack here. He has what? Nine Puff Caps, two Flash Bombs? Alright, let's add more to that. Does he have Pokey Stick? Probably Pokey Stick on this. Group Shot. Okay, that makes sense too. 
Um. All right. That's fine. One cool thing about Time Wonder here is that if the Flash Bomb hits one of these, we can like finish them off with the Time Wonder. It says to play discard one, deal one to an enemy, or I mean Nexus and deal one to another. So you just discard discard one, then deal one to two things. Uh, we'll play Chump Bomb here. I think we just put them in now. We, we want to try to have as many turns of him drawing as possible. And we want, we're not guaranteed to draw a Peddler. No! That's our best card. Or that's our, that's our big finisher, at least I should say. So I guess it's still fine. Let's put the clouds in now. Even if we draw a Peddler next turn, we still have tons and tons of uh, spells to add top gap to the deck with. Hot head. Attack or the top champion of your deck plus one plus one random keyword. Okay, we can block that. Put out Pup. One thing I love about Pup's got Pup is that it even gets it unblocked. So we've already done so much value off the Pup, but we, we still have plenty more to come. Alright, take one. Nice, throw the pillar. So yeah, we really did want Karina here. But okay, that's a bit scary. His deck can't rally though. So I think we just play this. We block it down. I don't actually want to use this right now, I don't think. I don't think I want to discard these cards. Maybe we just Pokey Stick this. That seems safe. I don't want them to get buffed and get out of hand. As much as I want to have Pop Get Pillar to be able to see me use the spell. Oh, nice. We have plenty of other spells. So, easy block here. Easy block here. I guess putting some one health is fine. Because it puts it in range of the Flash Bombs. Alright, so six more buff caps going in the deck. I mean, what, 30 total? Nice. Alright. So he's already used two Buster Shots. So unless he drew his third, these should be safe peddlers. Start doing their thing. <laughs> yeah, he knows how these can get out of hand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huh. What do we even do here? Maybe we just time winder, deal one to the Nexus, deal one to this, then play Karina. The reason I want to play Karina before I play these instead of the other way around, one, I don't want to draw onto a loop traveler. And two, I, you can like trigger the puff caps in this deck and then make them draw them after. I think I'll just do that. Like if I make him, if I if I do this first, he'll draw the puff caps. But I want Karina to hit the puff caps because Karina doesn't actually get rid of the puff caps when she triggers them. She she just uses them; they're still there. So you want to play her, like get as many hits for the puff caps as possible, and then make them draw those same puff caps. Is my plan. I'm also afraid of getting banned. That's his main one. So kind of want to have that. So I, I definitely am down to stall off the the draw two spell because he seems like somewhat low on. I don't know about win cons, but like I, I'm in command of this game, and I feel if I give him two draws, like Battle City can do some crazy stuff. So I don't, I don't want him to get like, more work with him. Like so we'll play this. He has what 36, I believe, and one flash bomb. Okay, that's fine. If I get like five, six. Good hand. We hit the flash bomb. Getting that. No big deal. All right, we level Kaylin. He's at five. We know he has six puff caps on the top five cards in this deck. And we're gonna draw three of them. One for turn and then two off of this. We can also push damage with this, but I'd rather just keep our blockers here, I think. No reason to um, enable his flocks more on Karina. Or give him a good open attack and just like some kind of combat tricks. Not combat tricks, but just like removal spells after combat. So we have a leveled Caitlyn, that's pretty good. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. If he if he attacks, if he open attacks, we, we live, so we don't need to do really anything. We have a last resort, draw two, and hope he draws the puff caps. But I kind of want to use this after he attacks. I don't again. I don't want to give him more fuel to work with before he attacks, and like like oh, let's draw two, and then we give him the exact cards he needs to kill us, and we lose. So let's try and maybe just play Caitlyn as a blocker here. It's fine, but it depends on what he does. Is that third Buster shot? Maybe? Maybe Pokey Stick to draw a card? But if he draws a card, it could be a Puff Cap. That maybe that's what he's thinking about. He goes, man, it, I want to get a better open attack, but if I draw a card, like, I might die. 
Oh, two spells. Okay. What are these gonna be? Is it Buster Shot on this? Pokey on this? In one action? Hmm. Maybe trying to get a good open attack here? True Shot Barrage off Loping Telescope. Okay. Um, here I'm down to do the draw too. I do want to put as many pop caps in the deck as possible. Plus, he might just draw the burn. So. Okay, that's one. Another one. We don't actually have, like, lethal yet. We're one off. We do have Caitlyn, though, to block it. And when Caitlyn strikes... God, this animation's really good, so I need to watch it. Okay, so when Caitlyn strikes, when she's leveled up, she deals damage for every trap drew in this turn. He drew two. To be attacked, she'll take two. Poppy could be really scary here. What if you drew Poppy? That's probably my biggest fear. <laughs> well, we're gonna. Okay, he's gonna draw the Pokemon. Okay. Alright. Draw the Flash Bomb. Very good. And just reel in the Poison Dark for game. Nice. Yeah. GG. Alright, we're up against Ezreal Caitlyn. Let's see what Caitlyn deck is stronger. So, we're going first. Alright, going first. Pretty good hand overall. I actually like Autopus generically as a blocker, but we probably should just go for things like Peddler. Peddler's really strong. Solid curve, one drop, two drop. I like it. Let's put on the pressure. Maybe if we draw Caitlyn, we could have like team on one, officer on two, Caitlyn on three, but on like huge, huge pressure. But we'll see. Karina, I do like that for later, for sure. Hopefully, let's get a Luke Traveler. Attack here with Teemo. Is it good? Should be good. It's good, yeah. Thermal Dragon Theme, usually the card would deal with Teemo turn one and, and TMD, but it's a close spell, so we can't do it when we attack, so he didn't have it. So, very good there. Alright. He's probably gonna put on the pressure here by attacking the foes. We'll take both, but we'll, we'll swing back with our Luke. So that's totally fine. Now, if he's running Time Winder, that would be really good against us, but I wouldn't say it's too too popular in this deck right now. Also, if this goes through, a Flash Bomb could easily clean up the Spiderling, so I like that. He has to pick which one's more important. Neither! Does he not have Mystic Shot? Was he fainting Mystic Shot? Maybe he'll get excited and he doesn't know what to do. Not by a long shot. Um, can we just leave the deal with that? I, I definitely want to block that at the very least. Jury Rig. We could also enter improvement and steal that and get two blockers. Do we have any ways to activate Jury Rig? I don't think so. It's definitely not called shot. So maybe a one mana blocker is just what we need. Hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the one mana for these blockers. I kind of like that. I'm not sure if the right pick was Jury Rig or not, but I think I like the. Blocker. All right, finally. Okay, we can still jury rig and block that. So I like that actually. We drew Kaylin. Already three out of five. Can pretty quick level up here. Um, sometimes it takes a bit longer. I think this is really a big place. So he has an elusive. That definitely changes the game up a bit. I think here we just play Kaylin. Kaylin's a great blocker. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. We can't really block the quick set. Oh, there's more. He's thinking. He's thinking. Cause like, if I block this, you can block it, but we still put a flash bomb in this deck, which I kind of like. Especially if they hit Ezreal, cause then he will trade if he blocks the thing off of Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And just kind of save ourselves some tempo here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just use to save three health. It's actually a health potion at this point, right? Just one minute to save three health. So he's gonna get the Mystic Shot off. Now the question is, who is he Mystic Shot? He's probably gonna hit Teemo, and then we can just play another one. But does Teemo even really matter here? Like, he can just block Teemo to the end of time, right? I think I just want to use this to put Pop Cat in the Cause if we high roll the pup caps, then Caitlyn's gonna level up. 
which is unlikely, but it also adds on top of the flash bomb he can draw. And I think we care more about the, the mushrooms anyway. Like, I don't think Timo's gonna go through the rest of this game. We have also have Karina, and then Karina can hit the, the mushrooms too. Oh, flash bomb. Nah, all right, we're one off the level up here. We could try and hit it with insider knowledge, but it's kind of wishful thinking. I was my sing officer. One thing we can do is like pack with her. And then insider knowledge to try and level her up. I might actually do that because I think we need refuel anyway. Ezreal's shot, that's fine. Firing. So, we'll attack with both here. I don't mind if these like trades, they put them in range of the flash bombs. Make it a weird decision this game. Hope they're worth it. Calling strike. But wait. But, but wait. If we hit one more trap, we can level up Caitlyn on the stack, dodging the calling strike. Uh, he knows what's coming. Let's go! Two puff caps and a flash up to Ezreal. Oh, we get a kill in the house. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. So a lot of stuff went well for us here. Um, not only did the flash bomb hit the spiderling, or sorry, the house fire, so it died. Now, not only does our Caitlyn live from the culling strike, but he took four damage. So when she's leveled up, he takes damage when she strikes, even though I'm crafty uh, through that turn. Do four. But the, the new flash bomb hits Ezreal. New flash bomb hitting Ezreal will be in a different scenario. Oh god. Okay, that didn't last long, but we're still in a good spot. How many puff caps are left? Ten? And they can deal four with the shots. Honestly, I think we just play Puff Cap Puff as a blocker. That seems fine to me. But he, can't, he can't attack with this or he'll put some Puff Caps in his deck. Okay. So we'll just save some health here. I'm not going to Mystic Shot that. We want to save Mystic Shots for uh, the lethal. I really like when I get some Puff Caps in his deck. Uh, he's also, he's not managing to track anyway, so that's fine. Hmm. If I prank here, I could whip and hit that. We should probably just save this in case we don't power. So 13 puff caps. Can we do- Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. I think we just do this now. So, double tribing, hello? I just both at one. Which, I guess it's fine to kill this, but that's fine. Kind of a interesting scenario. So we'll play this. We're gonna put some puff caps in the deck and just jam down Karina. Jam down Karina, finish off with burn rate should be nice. Oh! This could draw him a puff cap. Or I guess what? Never mind, a fleeting cap. It can't actually give him a puff cap. I, I was that was a joke. But we Okay. I got okay, I got okay, I guess we can't give him a puff cap. We can't give him a puff cap. But it's fine. So now what he's at? 23 puff caps in his deck, not using the spell. Mystic shot, he's not gonna use it. Ooh. If we live one more turn, we can like guarantee the win off this. Alright, he's open attacking, so we'll know like. Okay, okay. If he open attacks here, we can kind of just know. We can know if we have time to like set up the field or in range of dying. If I were him, I probably would just use Tribium on Otterpost to like mess up blocker. So we go to a 11. That's beyond fine. There's no way he'll burn us down from 11. Right? Maybe, maybe to play like super safe. Maybe play super, super safe. We could have played or um, missing shot of that. But I want to say this for burn. Can he burn us down from 11? So this is what's this at nine? It's just super unrealistic. It's super unrealistic. Let's get more puff caps, jam down Karina. The original plan. Alright, going for a unit, that's pretty good. He still needs two more spells level better So we're gonna put these in now, because this is likely the final turn of drawing in the game. So we wanna make sure that uh he might draw one for some bonus damage. We also can mystic shot here. I guess we'll just wait. Yeah. 
So we get Mystic Shot here. Because he might just die before Karina. Like, he might just die strictly from uh, drawing the puff caps and being in, in burn range from the Mystic Shots. So he's playing a spell here that it shuts him off from the Loose Traveler. A Loose Traveler is definitely the best thing to have right here. He can get Karina out of our uh, out of our hand, but at the same time, he would draw a card. He would draw a puff cap. Ezra so level up. That's really scary. But we should be fine. We don't have any units from the target. So we get too much damage. All right, put him at three. So he could he could draw three puff caps here. He could even draw two flash bombs. Kill that Ezra off. We'll see. But yeah, I think Karina will bring it home. I think I think we're in a good spot. Get him? Wait. Wait, did those hit anything? Oh, we drew the- oh, those were ours. Oh, alright, we're good. Alright. Alright. Volatile Bloom. Volatile Bloom, here we go. Let's go! <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright, GG. All right, that's my Caitlyn team of Puffcap deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I made this video before the patch actually hit, but just so you can see like the gist of the deck, how it plays, and it's gonna be that much better. Not only the Puffcaps racking up to go for lethal, but even more flash bombs. We had some crazy flash bomb scenarios uh, this game, but tons and tons more flash bombs gonna be knocking off the enemy field, allowing you to just like set up your peddlers while their flash bombs are just knocking off everybody, and you can control the board very easily with them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also stream on Twitch. So feel free to follow me there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.